Good afternoon. Welcome to our weekly livestock update. I'm Brownfield News Anchor and reporter Megan Grebner. With us is University of Missouri Livestock Specialist Scott Brown. Good afternoon, Scott. Good afternoon, Megan. Good to be on again this week. Weekly roundup of what happened this week in the markets. I would say probably the biggest thing we need to talk about is going to be that cattle on feed report. Any surprises uh, with those numbers that just came out? Where does that come into play for our livestock producers as well? And, and how do they continue to manage the volatility that we're seeing in, in the commodity prices? Our beef exports actually up 1.9%. We're down enough on barrel and gilt slaughter weights so far that even though being up 2% in slaughter numbers, uh, we're actually pretty flat on pork production. I think it gives the egg industry a, a longer period of time to try to make that adjustment towards uh, cage-free production. I, I think we started the week up about $2 uh, on feeder cattle prices and have been up really sharply here towards the end of the week. We should embrace what consumers want and, and be willing to provide that if it puts more money in our pockets at the end of the day. 